Big Brother's watching you. He's also holding on to you. Now, according to a new report, the government can retain personal information on innocent Americans for up to 75 years. Ben Stein. Well, I assume that I have no privacy at all anymore. I assume that when I'm talking on my car phone, emailing, people are listening to me all of the time. I assume that's brave. I'm uh, sorry, that's 1984 already, and the Big Brother is watching every single thing I do, and uh, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> you may have to yeah. call in a few markers, but Gary K, 75 years boggles the mind, doesn't it? <clears throat> Yay! Look, it, it, it's just one big giga gigantic <clears throat> uh, colonoscopy at this point in time. We are oh, watched and probed <laughs> by, uh, by an we, we are watched Thanks. and probed by an administration who railed against the last administration uh, for its watching and probing. <clears throat> and who knows where it ends? And I got news for you. We don't even know one-tenth of what they're doing. They only allow us to know what they want <clears throat> us to know at this point. So maybe it's 750 years. Adam, do you have a problem with this at all? Yeah. So I, I, I will admit to being conflicted, and here's, here's my conflict. I think we in the media should do, a, should do everything we can to expose the methods that the government is using. We should be on their case on it and make sure that we understand and that we bless it. <clears throat> Having said that, I think that the security agencies should do everything they can to keep us safe. And if that includes collecting and holding on to data so that they can analyze it, so that they can protect Come the on, country, Adam. yes, I support their Adam, right to do it. 75 years, you got to analyze it like after someone's been dead 50 years? I mean, realistically, maybe come on. there's, you know, we can joke, but maybe there's patterns there that they can learn from so that they can prevent the next terrorist attack. I, I, I'm willing to say that within reason and with oversight, that they should be allowed to go to great lengths to keep us safe. Right. And well, frankly, well, I'm surprised wait, you don't agree with that, Charles. Uh, wait a second. Well, yeah. The government couldn't even find this guy who had a mental health record, many arrests, who had been be shooting at people, blowing out their tires, and they you couldn't even keep him from going into the Navy Yard and killing people. What's ben, going on analyzing well done, ben. patterns? Ben, that's the, the, the cup, that's the cup half dumb. empty. But no, no, you, uh, you're just pointing out how difficult it is to find and analyze this data. You, right. you make it sound so, like it's so, easy. So, and by it's the way, guys, easy. so you're saying, uh, Dagan, let's just easy. pile on it, to Dagan. Hold easy. on one second. It's let's bring easy. Dagan in because we're talking about piling on extra data. 75 years worth, everybody in America. I mean, come on. I mean, we do draw the line somewhere. Do we? I no, don't know. Don't. I'm with no. Ben, though. No, I, I think it's think sad and no. distressing, but I don't, like, I, I, ha I fully expect the government to behave this way but unfortunately you expect it, i just you hope accept it. i well you know what i'm gonna be dead and gone i hope they look at my data when i'm <laughs> dead and in the ground and say that girl was crazy <laughs> she'll just confirm <laughs> what we already know <laughs> all right guys I, you know what when i'm gone speaking you of, have fun with it speaking of that girl my thanks today again <laughs> up